Later today, LR Beast Gohan and the LR Gammas officially come out. I mean, within the next basically two and a half hours almost by the time this video is out. But today we're going to go ahead and talk about what the best hidden potential system uh, paths could be for them. And you know what? We'll, we'll throw in Gohan. Uh, I said Gohan. Krillin and 18 as well. Let's just throw in all three of these characters. So um, I know people are going to be going really deep for Beast Gohan. I know that a lot of people, you know, by the time this comes out on Global May also have uh stone save them want to know okay i finally summoned beast gohan what do i build this for like you could probably see this in a few months right and i don't think that's going to really change um but let's go ahead and talk about it so um we'll cover beast gohan first of course we're going to go through every single part of his kit and then talk about okay where well, how much crit does he exactly get in fact we'll bring this up and then we'll we'll put together how much crit and like additional chance and everything like that he does exactly get in his kit because he gets a lot of crit and hidden potential system right so um first and foremost let's ignore the ultra super attack effect that does give 20 percent uh i believe this is a separate chance regardless but um this is something that could be there if you have piccolo on the same rotation which can happen right so first and foremost he activates the entrance animation gets 40 percent crit chance here so that's 40 percent intro right that's 40 percent crit chance on in the intro then we take a look here he gets another 20 percent chance from a critical hit when key is 24 now that is 20 percent on 24 key i believe that is actually separate so let's say separate right there because that's a separate phase that's when attacking specifically right because it's when key is 24 uh that's something we do want to go ahead and keep in mind i believe that is how it does end up working uh, just like how Yamcha, his dodge is in separate phases as well, right? Because it's wood attacking and uh, everything like that. So, um, if we take a look here, where, where else does he get extra crit right here? So, he gets another 20% chance to crit per attack received during the turn. So, again, that is still separate. So, that's 20% per attack received right there my c this is messed up right there but there it is uh so 20 percent per attack received 20 percent 24 key and 40 percent the intro then he gets another 20 percent chance to crit once he's received 20 percent one when received eight attacks or done five right done five attacks right so with that in mind obviously we see here he's getting tons of crit then active gives him guaranteed crits during the turn so i feel like crit is not really like something that beast gohan is asking for right um if we talk about all this, all this together right so 40 percent just baseline for the intro start of turn all of this is basically like you know in the attacking phase so it is separate from this but let's say you get 20 percent here when attacking 20 percent per attack received and then you get this boat up that means you have the baseline 40%, and all you have to do is receive three attacks for this guy to already guarantee crit, not even counting the intro. So, like, with that, like, all done together, I mean, this guy probably has, like, a 90% plus chance to crit once he's received, like, this, and then he's received probably, like, I don't know, two to three attacks. You should pretty much just crit every single time. That's not even considering this. And on the active of turn three, he's already going to be guaranteed critting regardless. I just don't see, you know, besides the five crit that you get, right? And then another thing is that he gets this 20% chance to crit to all allies. Uh, I believe that includes himself, by the way, when there's orange piccolo on a rotation. So if you are running like a pick or just piccolo in general, right? It, it can be any piccolo. So if you are running a piccolo on the same rotation, then you are going to get the extra 20% crit on top of that. So 20% ultra essay so there's just so much crit here i just don't see why you would be like oh yeah this guy i'm going 20 crit on like that's just not the thing you want to go ahead and do um now this guy does get a guaranteed additional super attack after he receives an attack so it's just for additional super attacks essay it's just one after receiving an attack. I'd probably even have to write this, the rest of this down anymore at this point. It's, I think it's already good to write down the crit, right? But he just gets one additional super attack after he receives an attack. Bam. Right? That, that's, that's it. That's it. It's very easy and simple to get, but that's the only part he gets additional super attacks. Now, what we could talk about is damage reduction. Because the thing about this guy is that you're like, okay, you get so much crit, but then what about additionals or dodge? I think additionals is 100% the way to go because this guy's only getting one additional. Well, so if you take a look at what this guy is doing, 
um, he gets so much reduction, right? And we do know that unlike crits or dodge or anything like that, reduction is actually fully additive in the system. So it gets 40% on intro of damage reduction. Then we see right here again, uh, he gets another 20% after receiving an attack right there. So that's 60% from what I'm understanding, right? Uh, cause that does add together and that's just 60% baseline damage reduction. Keep in mind during this entire time, he is also guarding. He's guarding on top of that. And then we see right here, he gets another 20% damage reduction right there after receiving eight attacks. I can't spell or doing five attacks, whatever. I can't even spell. You guys get, you guys get the point. Essentially, that's 80% damage reduction. Reduction plus guard. <laughs> uh, after he receives those five attacks. Now, keep in mind, this is only for five turns, but it's like you're going to finish the fight off by the time this like because it's on the fifth turn so that it's essentially saying on turn seven is when you don't have that 40 percent reduction right there and you'll go down to only 40 percent damage reduction with guard oh no right the, the enemy's dead already it's, it's gone he's done he's gone he's he's like literally just done <laughs> um so the thing about this is that this guy's invincible uh he never dies there's like zero chance. There's a, there's literally zero reason to give him dodge either, and you know you guys know I'm a I'm a huge dodge guy. I I, I love dodge. I'm a, I I love dodge. Right, dodge is cool. Um, even just three dodge, right? But I, I don't see why you give this guy three dodge either. Uh, so like, I probably would say additionals into crit still, which is kind of crazy. But um, there are times when this character could potentially miss the critical hit. I think that's like possible um, because again, you have, even though you have the 40% here and then you have the 20% there, it's like you maybe, maybe like dodging actively hurts this character regardless because the, this guy builds up, where is it? Yeah. 20% attack per attack received during the turn. That's not when guard is activated. That's just when attack is received. I found that actually does help his damage quite a bit because 250 start of turn, then 50% here when attacking, then a lot of this. Like if, if he takes five attacks, that's an extra 100% multiplicative attack. Well, as if you have like a, a lot of dodge in this guy besides the crit, this guy's like maybe he dodges one or two attacks, then you go down to 60% instead of 100%. And that matters uh, for this guy's damage. I think 100%. That, that, that's the reason why I would say I'm not going dodge in this guy at all. Not that he doesn't even necessarily even need the dodge ever. Uh, which he doesn't. But, like, he doesn't need crit either. It's just that crit is, like, the one that you'd rather go so you can optimize him still. Just because he he literally just does not want dodge. He, he, he doesn't want to dodge any attacks. He wants to receive the attacks. And he takes zero damage. So, like, yeah, for sure. So, I would say... Full additional like 25 to 30 additional to this guy then you probably would be left over with like i don't know 10 11 crit or so maybe yeah if even um like you know five, you have the baseline five crit that you have to just give this guy gives his sdr so i'm assuming like with the other paths you'll probably get like i guess another like 10 crit on top of that maybe at most like including equips and stuff like that um, I might, you know what I might get this guy? I might get this guy the, uh, I think there's like additional attacks with HP. That might be what I get this guy. What is his HP at? 21,000. Yeah. Give him like 600 HP equipped right there. Uh, no, I think, yeah, is it, is it, I don't know, like 400, I think, is it 900 HP? I mean, it, if that is the case, I have to find the equips in there. But that'll shoot him up to, uh, <laughs> to 22.3k HP, right? You know, more HP could be useful for the team in general, right? That'll, like, more HP for the team for this guy will benefit you more than dodge. So, that's what I would recommend for Beast Gohan. The Gammas here. Uh, the thing about the Gammas is that they have less crits in their kit, right? And they also have less reduction, right? Just starting off right here. So, again, let's go ahead and break down the crit for the Gammas right here. So, we see, again, they have just normal stats right there. Then, depending on the innkeepers they grab, they can get 30% critical hit. So, let's say let's say you get lucky and you get the two in orbs. That's 60% chance to crit right there. And that's it. That's all that guy has. So, he just has 60% crits 
being favorable because you know you may not always be able to get in key spheres with this guy and there's not really a good in key sphere orb changer on the superheroes team which is where you're going to be running this guy uh so that's a thing and then you have a lot of rainbow orb changers that can even change the in key spheres right so a lot i feel like a lot of times so you may get also like two azr or two str key spheres so it's probably like again 24 percent to 60 percent crits right it could even be 12 percent. so let's be generous let's say 12 all right let's let's say unfavorable because you know what you should always account for it not being favorable in your case right so that's i can't even i can't i can't do this y'all i'm so sorry like look at that look at that i'm, I'm such a mess right there that's pre-transformation right so there's crit right there post transformation it's the same thing right but now he has 50 percent reduction right then right here when he's actually uh post transformed again he gets 50% reduction here. He gets another 15% reduction here. Then he can get up to guaranteed crit per int or STR key sphere obtained. But that's asking for five int or STR key spheres. And I feel like that's just not something you're really going to see. Like, I'm going to say, well, he does change EGL to int key spheres. So because he changes EGL to int key spheres specifically, let's be nice. And let's say, again, you get three orbs. So that is 60% crit chance right there. 60% chance to crit um that's like saying okay he changes the agl to int i get three orbs sometimes you can get to guarantee crit for sure and this is probably like you know turn five slash six i think uh it's pretty easy to get the exchange for these guys here like it's very easy you get these guys turn one and then you just want to grab you don't, you don't even have to do supers you just want to grab the three attacks because that gives them this and then that also does give them the standby skill which again they want to do three more attacks in battle so let's say turn one you get those three attacks uh the next turn after which will be turn three they'll transform into the standby gamma one and two then you go ahead and get gamma one after and turn five likely you know depending on if he's in the what rotation he's on right um and then from there you're able to just get this guy, guy out and he's already orb changing and stuff like that right um but the thing to consider is that these guys aren't necessarily like, you know, mega damage dealers, right? They aren't that big of a damage dealers. But the thing that will do damage for them, like the one attack, okay, it's like glowing out for me. But um, the one attack that will actually do damage for them is their standby skill. Okay, I guess the uh, site overloaded because I'm clicking so many things at once. But can I click on it now? The standby skill. Oh, yeah, well, they're in the standby skill. This has zero crit on it. And you can't get any of the crit from here because of the fact that you have to grab in key spheres. And when you grab in key spheres, you will obviously start the turn and you cannot use the finish skill. I think this is why I say crit is actually really good for the gammas because of the fact that this is this is their big move. This will be you want this to do damage. This will do a lot of damage. Um, 100% per charge count. There's so many characters that do additionals on the superheroes team i mean let's take a look here everyone that's doing additionals beast gohan does additionals gogeta does additionals sort of hope trunks does additionals ultimate gohan does additionals um blue evolution and then kaioken goku does do additionals as well right like who else here or would you run here that does additionals uh, i'm not really seeing anyone else stop my head but those are like the best characters on the team right that does do additionals i mean if you're running the year five fusions they'll do additionals with these guys easy they have additionals as well like everyone is doing additionals like even blue goku and vegeta right here the vegeta blue also does additionals so like all the best units on the team are doing additional attacks uh when i was showcasing them i got to 19 counts and that's a thousand nine hundred attack temporarily raised right there and they they hit pretty hard like the the standby skill does hit pretty hard you want this to crit really badly and I think that's one reason why I think going in a lot of crit in this guy seemed like the Dragon Ball Z duo, the Goku and Vegeta, um, that does a super spirit bomb. That's one reason I think crit is really good for them. But um, I feel like additionals aren't really necessary for them. Like a lot of additionals not really needed. I would probably go like, you know, let's say eight additional, like 25 crit and then some dodge because they had the free five dodge like eight dodge or something like that is what i would probably do maybe maybe you can go more additional just you don't have to get this character dodge really they're pretty tanky super attacks will still hit them for pretty decent damage for sure though until they're actually um post standby and the thing is that like if you're gonna say because the thing with dodge is you're gonna say oh they can get up to 80 percent reduction which is pretty good 
But then if you're going to say that, then it's like, oh, they're getting guaranteed crit here, right? So it's like, it feels so weird to give them like crit because they can get guaranteed crit when they're gamma one. But you really want to give them crit because of the standby skills. So I I'm thinking crits for sure into additionals or you could also do additionals into crit. Uh, that's fine as well. But I think just the standby skill not being able to crit, you really want that um really really badly or else i would have probably said full additional uh for this guy or even like full dodge into additionals but um i think crit is way more important and you still want some additionals here just in case you know it'd, it'd be helpful to get the extra attack and defense raise but it's like you can go crit into dodge or crit into additional i think at the end of the day it doesn't really matter too much like them getting their fourth additional attack it's like fine, right? You know, they don't necessarily need to get their fourth additional attack. It'd be nice if they get it, but you know, I think that's my point there. I think for these guys, definitely, definitely though, you want to have at least a chance to get the fourth additional just because it'd be it'd be good. Um, Krill and 18, I think, are just a full dodge unit, right? They have 60% dodge built in, but they're not a unit that's going to want to do damage. They're your two turn 50% support for superheroes. They're going to be floating around. They get stats per dodge evaded. They lose stats after they receive an attack. So you definitely want this character to go ahead and have dodge built in them. They even have like 30% crit chance built in if you really care. But like, again, dodge for this character because 60% is nice, but you definitely would like them to have more more dodge. So I think full dodge for this character, just straightforward. Just letting y'all know, right? I think that dodge is good for them. But now I did go ahead and ask Twitter what they would build for the Gammas and then the uh, Peace Go Hunt's hidden potential system just because I like seeing this for sure. One thing for sure, not dodge for Peace Go Hunt, I agree. Additional crit to Beast. Gammas are interesting because you can go for crit with them because of the core breaker, but you would advise dodge and additional. I don't know, man, because it's like I could see dodge and additional build for them. But I think the core breaker, you really want to crit with that core breaker. And then it's like they're still tanky it's not like they have to have dodge dodge would just be useful for them to have right um additionals would be useful for them to have but then this is like the, the biggest damaging attack that they'll do and you have a zero percent chance to crown it so this i think is the most important thing and that's why i probably would recommend crit probably just additional in case our rng is bad i guess that's fair too right because it's like if you go with additionals and you're not able to get the two key spheres then what happens is like okay yeah you know what uh, maybe additional sub base right like 25 crit or 20 to 25 crit into like 12 ish additional maybe because the thing is you can get bad rng and then maybe you can only grab one of these key spheres or none of them and then that delays you from getting the standby so like if you get like just one in key sphere you really want to get that other additional uh, that's something I did not consider. Um, or like one EGL keys for one STR keys for you would really like to get that third additional. That's important because not only do they get the reduction. Wait, that's not it. Not only do they get the damage reduction right here um, whenever it wants to load in the first gammas, but you also do get the additional stats. And of course, you're able to exchange. So that is quite important um, for both of the gammas, right? Full additional on both, maybe more dodge and gammas, but that's it really. Yeah, I think additionals for Gohan and Beast, but I think gammas crit into additional. And then wait, there's one more I think right here. Let's see. Beast additionals to crit, then gammas additionals to dodge. I think was worth saying. Full dodge, no. Beast additional, gammas crits. Yeah, go on tricky because he's full, obviously AA, but he needs no dodge in his build and crit. He just does everything. Yeah, again, I would still just go crit um just because you just don't want dodge and that that's really it helicopter oh god okay well there okay <laughs> yeah it seems like not not full dodge i mean there's joking around seems like everyone is agreeing with what i'm saying additional dodge for the gammas i don't know let me know what you guys think i think crit for the gammas is definitely the best way to go about it additional like dot uh well there's i just saying additional dodge and crit all the, at the same time crit into additional is what I'm taking for the gammas, and then you, if you want crit into dodge, I wouldn't blame you, but I wouldn't like build additionals main, or I wouldn't build um, dodge main for this guy. But maybe you think maybe I'll think I'm overvaluing the court breaker. Let me know. And then for these guys, I mean, 100% additional into crit for sure. You don't want dodge. So let me know again what you guys are gonna do. Thanks for watching, and I'll be live when the banners are up. I'll catch you next time.